Beast. Welcome to the BHB Trilogy Podcast with your host, Beast, Hot Sauce, and Buckets. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the BHB Trilogy Podcast, episode 11, and I'm here with Buckets and Beast, and I'm your host, Hot Sauce. So today we're going to be talking about Busy Kid, our Dodger Fun Run 10K that we ran today, uh, USC football, and LeBron's Lakers debut tonight against Nuggets. So... Our first topic is Busy Kid. It's where we get allowance for stuff we do around the house, like chores and Reading, other stuff. Like workout, reading workout, soccer whistle, backflip. Yeah, so what we do is at the end of the day before... Room, make up bed kay. in the morning, wake up. What we do before... What we do before 8.30 is we have to go into Busy Kid and log it in, like check all the stuff out. And when it's 8.30, is to turn off all the electronics. Like, I'm on, and I'm out. Uh, yeah. So, when we put it in, everything, everything's worth a certain amount of money. So, like, say I do my bed, it's like 50 cents, so it adds up, and we get paid it on Friday. At the end of each uh, week on Friday. So, uh, yeah, that's how it works. Um... You get to save, spend, or share to like a donation or something. And how do you guys feel about it? How do you feel about it? What? Busy kid. Um, like, what do you want to spend? Like, what do you, do you want to buy a sock or something? Maybe. Well, hot sauce that we bought Amazon. So yeah, I am a, a, I'm currently a part owner of Amazon. Amazon. Currently a part owner of, of Amazon. I so. love it because I get to buy socks, and I'm there, and I buy a sock, and it's kind. Of, I kind of don't like it because we have to. We kind of forgot to do it, and then we don't get paid. And yeah. Oh yeah, it's like your fault. You don't yeah. Forget. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we forget. Um. We still. I'm the only one that bought socks, so everyone needs to be like. You can choose whether to buy, so like, you don't have to do it. But we, just, what we need to do is donate like to a charity for money. I'm gonna for, donate a block charity because I love blocks. Yeah, I don't know what donate. I don't know what charity I'm gonna donate to. I'm kind of low because I transferred my spend to save so I could buy stock. But like when you buy stock, um, the money Amazon gets goes to you. So keep buying stuff from Amazon. Uh, uh, our second topic of the day is Dodger Fun. Oh wait. Wait, never mind, wait. Wait, cut it right here, and then, okay. Uh, also, we just watched The Founder, which kind of, it's a two-year-old movie about McDonald's and like how it was founded, but it was really interesting, right? Like, we, we watched it a lot. I didn't watch half of it because I went to sleep and I was supposed to go to sleep, and then you guys stayed up. Yeah, but it taught us a lot about business and stuff, like Explain how it works. Business. Well, she doesn't know yet, but. Yeah, that's basically what we did. Our second topic of the day is our Dodger Fun Run. It yeah, was a 10K that, that we ran. This morning, and we got a bobblehead yesterday, and then we were going to get to that metal, because Harry Potter said that it was a good and then we had to wear this, and yep. then last year we did, well, oh, yeah. we did a Disneyland 5K. Yep, uh, I didn't really do good in that one. I cut my leg open, and yep. we did it. But. It was fun because everybody was like dressing up as Jason Run. The Dodger Run just isn't so much people. There's 1,000 and something people. There's 11,000. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. <coughs> but what was the toughest part of the Dodger Run? Running up the hill. The toughest part is trying to keep up. Me and my mom were walking, and then my guys were like aching, and I pulled over the Mm-hmm. Uh, we also, at the end, they let you, if you participate in the run, they let you go into the Dodger Stadium. Like, you get to walk around the field and everything. You don't get to go to the grass, you just walk around. Yeah, you just walk around. I don't play baseball, so I don't know what that's called, but, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, what did you do it again, walk around Dodger Stadium? Yes. Yeah, what did you? It was fun, and there's like a, like, free ice cream, and then there's free time bars, and then you could get a free, um, bag, and, yeah, and we yeah, got a water bottle, bottle with it too, I don't know, 
Yeah, and this teacher, it says the end, and then the back, it says LED. It says LED, F run, like the fun run. 18 plus MED. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, that was basically our second topic, so a quick, break for, a quick break from our sponsors. Welcome back and to the VP Trilogy Podcast, episode 11. I'm your host, Hot Sauce Bucket. At least uh, our third topic of the day is USC football. So... USC, in the occurring weeks that happened from our last podcast, uh, USC has lost to Texas and Stanford, but we beat Washington State and uh, Arizona. So that was uh, pretty good. What did you think about the Texas game? I don't know because I didn't watch it. Something really good. What are you doing? Reading. <laughs> That's a lie. Uh, so what were you doing? Would you watch it? No. Nope. Oh, I was watching TV in the fourth grade. Mm. Uh, the last time wasn't very good. I don't think we watched it, huh? I don't, I don't think we watched it. But where were we? We were somewhere. I forgot. We were um, at my sauces. Oh, no. Wait, no, that was not. No, that was Washington State. Oh, we were at the Dodgers Stadium picking up my stuff. No, that was yesterday. Yeah, we were at the Dodgers Stadium picking up my stuff. No, that was Arizona. See, we beat Arizona, but I forgot what we were doing at Stanford. But we beat Washington State, and that was pretty good. We kept our home streak alive, and then we beat Arizona away. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I mean, hey, we're back from some technical, technical difficulties. But uh, what I was trying to say is that we have a fantasy football league, and I'm currently eighth in the league, and it's based upon our classmates and our teachers, and... I'm 8th, Buckets is 11th out of 12, so uh, he's not doing very good. In terms. Yeah, you. I'm 8th, you're 11th, and he's closer. You're closer to 12th. He's closer. He's but, but he's closer. But he's closer. Who's in last is our classmate, Adrian. He lost to us. Sorry, Adrian. But, uh, yeah. So after that, um, now these so let's talk about our soccer game. So my team is called the Raptors. I mean, the Raptors are team because I usually get like a job and then like, like I got cuties one time and I got little ponies one time and my name's this. Why do you call four and five? We are on an online season, so we first the team again and they want us to do it. But um, on our fourth week, which was yesterday, we tied two to two. That was our first tie. The other games we won, like seven to zero or seven to one. It was good. But so I team really didn't help a lot yesterday, but I think they should have done better with their running and passing. Cause there's a lot of open passing struggles. But and the funnest part was I got to play against my friend Manny from Spain. And my friend, my other friend, Angelina's sister. And it was fun. I mean, uh, the third week I actually played Eli's other team coach. I only played for that. I mean, one week. But I did the foul and I did the foul and I got the foul. Now, Buckets, the topic two. Play the way, Buckets. Mm, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, yeah, so that's. Stella's soccer games. Let's talk about soccer games. But our fourth topic of the day is LeBron's Laker debut against the Nuggets. We probably play like ten minutes, but still matters. Uh, I expect LeBron to get ten points or fifteen. What what would you think? Twenty-one. Lonzo will get 12 points and 8 assists. I think LeBron will get 2 dunks. And Lonzo will get like all the points. I think. JaVale McGee will carry him. I think LeBron and all his teammates will take them to the Western Conference Finals. I have a question. Does 
Because then turn it upside down and do a boom. I have a comment. If the makers couldn't even make it to the sun being hit or the being hit, then they wouldn't do the moon and the moon with the bun on our feet. I guess one can't lie. Yet. That's what the makers feel like so much more and more better. Because LeBron has people on his team now. But he had other good players on his team too. Name one. Darius Smith. I think they'll win. I don't think they'll win the Western Conference Championship. I think they'll win the next year, though. When the Warriors start getting injured. And then they might win the finals the third year. But I don't think so. Hopefully the Lakers will be the Celtics in the finals. Well, uh, well Celtics probably will not. What do you think, Bella? What? Peace. What? Do you think they'll win the championship? Mm, LeBron James can win it. Okay. Um, that's it. What about Coach Cliff? Coach Cliff, I've never seen, but buckets about him? say he's a mean guy. Like Who? Buckets say he's kind of like a mean guy. He says that he was going to be a soccer coach, and he was a mean guy. He's saying he's a bad man. Yeah. Like, you know how Dad says, like, when someone's really good, it's like a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Coach Cliff's our trainer. He's really good coach. Uh, teaches me a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think he sucks though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about basketball or? I'm talking about Coach Cliff. He has like, he's going to be me cool when he says I'll be cool. <laughs> well, he's pretending so he can get scared. But he's not going to be. Dad said if he murdered that. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's a good trainer, coach, uh, friend. Teaches me a lot of stuff. Also, bone collector and stuff. Yep. Uh, that's that's it for this podcast. Signing off till next time. The hot sauce with hot sauce buckets. Yay! Peace. Peace out, guys. Thank you.